The Premier paid a courtesy call on the Irungu governor and to the rest of the regional political leadership at Swakopmund. The Valfis Bay Rural Constituency Councillor revealed that starvation is a serious problem in his area. Our offices are being frequented by people that are very hungry to an extent that we are giving up our own salary to these people to feed them. And, and sometimes um, that disturb not even want to go to the office because uh, if I help out today and tomorrow, how is it sustainable? And it's high time that uh, the drought relief must also maybe come back. There are certain people that should we happen to not give them a bag of maize. As a regional councillor, they got nowhere to go eat. Donatis indicated that the COVID-19 pandemic fueled urban starvation as residents in the constituency lost their jobs and businesses. In response, Prime Minister Sara Kuhongerwa Amadila informed the leaders that Cabinet has approved to include vulnerable urban people in the drought relief program. She, however, emphasized that there is a need for local authorities and regional council to drive local economic growth to ensure people have jobs. Our strategies must be homegrown. Growth must be driven by our own people because that is the only way that we are going to ensure that growth translates into improved welfare conditions. Besides that, if we cannot promote um, the development of local entrepreneurs, if we cannot promote job creation, if we cannot ensure that there is a living wage, then it means that you have to resort to donation of food, donation of basic shelter. And, uh, and uh, job creation is not only important that people earn their own income, it is important also for their dignity. She added that the food bank program can be used to provide a short-term solution. But food security can also be promoted by creating backyard gardens in urban areas. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Swakopmund.